coming to this vlog. Uh, so I haven't filmed a vlog in a while as you might have noticed because I am staying home a lot lately. Tomorrow if everything goes well, tomorrow I'm going to meet a friend. And today I'm going to Shibuya for an audition. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. That's what we eat in Germany. If you're wondering, this is not a sandwich. This is bread with cheese and ham. Some fruits and coffee. Um, I don't know how it is in other countries, but in Japan you've got those talent agencies for models, actors, etc, etc. And today I'm going to one of those agencies. That does not mean that I want to become an actor. Oh, no, 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 no. It was just this impulse that I had in the moment, like... I searched for it on Google and there was this website like, yeah, you can apply here for this audition. And I filled that form out and I sent it. And then like really 30 seconds later I had a phone call, 30 seconds. I just had sent those information and they called me right away. I thought it's a nice opportunity to film a vlog again, take you with me. I can't film inside this agency, but I can tell you what happens there. And then apart from that I can show you the rest of my weekend. So cheers to that. If I have to sing and to dance I need some energy, so... Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these lately. I always buy them at a the convenience store. I'm in Shibuya now and I'm a little bit nervous so I won't say much. I will explain to you later how it went when I'm home again. And I just wanted to say I'm here. I still have like half an hour left to walk there. It's agency. And it's yeah, it's water. And it's super hot today. So just a little tip from my side, if you ever come to Japan and you want to go to one of those agencies, look up beforehand where exactly the building is. I have been wanting to go to one uh, when I was here without Google Maps and I couldn't find them when I came to Japan for the first time. Now at least I look it up beforehand and I use Google Maps to get it. Even if you go to Shibuya, it's really hard to find. I'm, I'm in Shibuya but still kind of in the middle of nowhere, here's nothing. So I just finished the audition and this was so weird. I will tell you everything once I'm home to go the way back to the station and then I will explain to you what happened exactly. It's super weird because I never intended really to go right away. I never intended to go one or to one of those agencies. I 
exactly what to say to keep me wrapped up in these jeans while I'm here choking on regret. Yeah. You got a couple tricks up your sleeve. Taking advantage of my low self esteem. To leave my bank account empty and your message always pending. Yeah, somehow you're still so tempting to me. Girl, you might hear the nicotine in the morning. Even though you know, but for me, I still want it. You drive me crazy. I don't know much about acting. I just think like if you want to become an actor, you have to go to auditions, for example. I mean, you can also go to acting school, but I'm not planning on doing that in the near future. I'm interested in acting, but I'm not interested in becoming an actor here in Japan. You can't just go to any audition. Uh, what you have to do here in Japan is you go to one of those agencies and they will basically um, make appointments for you. It's the same with modeling in Japan. You have to register or that's the normal way I'd say. You go to some agencies, they talk to you, you can register and if they have a job for you, they will call you or send you a text message or whatever. And today this audition was simply just at this agency to see if somebody has talent and then they will um, call, call me or send me a message again next week if I don't hear from them in one week that's basically it I'm not in this agency now <clears throat> they wanted me to fill out this normal form that you have to fill out here wherever you go in Tokyo in Japan then we had this session where me and another girl she was just like a school girl she was there with her mother um, we were like reading a part it was just a really small part and then the last part again was an interview where they talked to me and I was at this point, I was already slightly like, I don't know what I'm doing here. During this interview, I told them that I got this call and I'm not sure why I'm actually here. Like I was my German self again, like I can be super direct. And this was for me like the most difficult, this interview to explain to them that on the one hand, I was interested in all of that. But on the other hand, I didn't really know why I was there. The first 30 minutes, you sit there, you fill out this form and you get a text that you have to read later. You have to remember it actually and nobody told me. So I was sitting there playing with my phone for maybe over 30 minutes, waiting for them to call me and then they called me for the audition and I was like, then I was seeing this piece of paper that was lying around there. They just put it down. He said nothing to me. He was just like, here, please fill that out. And then he put something. Maybe he said that this is the text. This is it. Maybe he said something. I went into this audition knowing nothing. Like, again. Uh, I tell you, I'm Jon Snow. I am so Jon Snow most of the time. I have no idea what's going on around me. I stormed out of the room and I told this guy, like, I have no idea, I have not remembered a word. And he was like, yeah, it's okay, you can read it from the um, piece of, from, from the paper. He gave me another two minutes to read it for a second at least. And uh, it was a very easy text, I could read everything, uh, but I couldn't remember it. I was also, I was so nervous. However, it was fun, but then the interview part, I already told you, the interview part was just me being too honest for my own good. If I would get like right away from the start like super amazing roles and super amazing jobs, yeah sure, but then you have to see if you do stuff like that, modeling or acting, you have to start from scratch most of the time. If you have no experience whatsoever like me, then they give you like um, stupid jobs that you probably wouldn't enjoy anyway. If you want to know anything else, let me know in the comments. Sometimes I don't know what people are actually interested in. I just tell you what I think is interesting. Cut myself this. I just bought it at the supermarket. But I wanted to show you. This is so... I don't know, I like this type of ice cream. It's different from the normal. I can't open it though. <laughs> I mean, it's like the name says. I tried to cancel Netflix lately. But I always then some season comes out of a TV show I have watched in the past and then I continue. So at first Stranger Things came out, before that Working Moms. I just recently also watched Working Moms, I like that one. 
and then Stranger Things, the first part, then Umbrella Academy, the third season, and then I've seen now the new episodes from Stranger Things. And the ending was extreme. So I'm looking forward to the next season. I'd say there will be a next season. What I also wanted to do this weekend is clean up my closet. I have to go through all of this. Then there is on this side the rack that we've got here. If you have been a subscriber for a while, then you might remember that I wanted to change the style of my wardrobe a little bit. The goal is to have like more simple clothes and pieces that you can match easily together and also not so many. I have a lot of different clothes. But today I thought I'd finally go through all my clothes and radically look which pieces I want to keep and which I might sell, for example, or give away or donate or whatever. No idea where to start with all these clothes. And I had more, I had even more a while ago. But I'm slowly like scaling down everything. First of all, let's go through this. And I just wanted to show you what my criteria are basically. Uh, for example, like the quality, how long I have something, if I wear it, if I can match it with other things. For example, I bought this to see. Um, I just need to really start wearing it actually. Um, I know I'm wearing this one. It's always really convenient to have things in black and white are uh, okay. Very good. So I will keep those two. Then t-shirts. I have so so many t-shirts and I'm for example I noticed this year that I have not one t-shirt without a print on it. So this is the first t-shirt that I own without a print on it. Vala Mogulis. All men must die, but we are not men, right? This is a very old one that I got when I, when I came to Japan for the first time, I bought this in Harajuku. Because, like, look at him! Hi, so, so next weekend, um, I thought Last weekend I didn't do as much because of the weather and some things changed. So I thought of him a little bit this weekend too, put everything together. So and today I'm here at Hakimiya and we're in Harajuku and we just came up the stairs. <laughs> we need some distractions. You might have heard yesterday something not so nice happened here in Japan. Won't mention it again, but I feel like I could need some distraction. Let's do it. Honestly. <laughs> gekauft, die mir eigentlich zu groß sind. Aber die ist cool, ja. Play hard. Under, under, warum under? Why, why? Anything, anything. Under anything. Yeah. Bad hair day. Oh, I mean, that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bad hair day makes totally sense. Ich hab heute 
yours. Ich habe heute the perfect hair day. Anything yours. some food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're slowly going back to the station now. I haven't really said anything, but like we were just like looking at the shops, uh, getting something to drink, and now I'm going. We're going slowly back to the station, and that's about it. That's about what happened today. Um, but I filmed a lot of stuff for TikTok and Instagram. So um, if you want to see what kind of shops we went to, um, then uh, follow me on Instagram. And 